What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. We've got a great video for you guys today, an update from Uber. Before we jump into this video, we just wanted to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, Solo. Solo is an amazing app that gets you guaranteed earnings every single day you are out driving. It also has a lot of other uh, features in it, including tracking, and you can get $15 just for signing up. Look, in my opinion, this is the best third-party app I've ever seen for driving. I've used basically everything else available, and a lot of them are great. I'm not downing those by any means, but Solo, in my opinion, is the best. So check that out, guys. There's a link in the description below, and let's jump in. So Uber has said that they committed $800 million to try and make EVs more accessible and says it plans to be carbon neutral in the US, Europe, and Canada by 2030, the lofty goal, and globally by 2040. So that's an interesting thing. Now, where this started is that a lot of people have said, I don't personally know if I buy into this, but a lot of people have said that carbon emissions are dramatically higher because of Uber. Now there's so many more cars on the road and it's destroying our planet. Personally, I'm not sure that I buy that because sure, there's a lot more cars on the, on the road because of Uber, but is it really that many more? And we're also talking about now all the cars that are not on the road because of Uber and Lyft. So think about all the taxi cab companies that literally went out of business. So now there's all these cabs that are not on the road. I know, and if you've driven for a long time, you know this too, I've given countless, countless, countless rides to passengers that told me that it was actually cheaper for them to just Uber everywhere they needed to go than to own a car, to have insurance, and to pay for the maintenance and gas. And they are thrilled and, and very happy. So think about all the people that have sold their cars and now rely solely on Uber and Lyft. So that to me, I, I mean, I don't have any any stats or data to back my claim, but to me, I can't imagine that it's actually that many more vehicles. Maybe, maybe in the span of a day, there's more because a lot of people have quit to drive, but I mean, it still just seems a little bit outrageous to me that Uber's destroying the planet. And if you've been on this channel for a while, you know, I've never been one to like defend them. I've in most cases been very frustrated with them and very vocal about that. But in this case, it just seems hard for me to believe. So the main problem though, is that most of us that drive don't really make the money we would need to make to go buy a Tesla or you know a Chevy Bolt or I think that's an electric car. I can't even remember the other models. Whenever I think electric vehicle, I only think Tesla. I'm pretty sure everyone's like that. Good branding, but um, th the reality is the electric vehicles are more expensive. You know, they just they just are. And if you can go out and buy a pretty nice used Honda Civic, you know, for under 20K, makes a lot more sense than having to buy a Tesla that, you know, could be upwards of 50. I know there's the more, you know, economy efficient ones. I'm looking for a fancy word or phrase for cheaper and not coming up with it. Um, but that's still a big leap for any of us. Now, the other side of that though, is when you have a Tesla, you have basically no maintenance. You're obviously not paying gas. So, I mean, I've always said Teslas make the most sense for Uber drivers. You get about 300 miles a day. Um, you know, and then you just go supercharge it at a grocery store when you're done with your shift each day and it adds, okay, another 45 minutes. So what? The great thing about the Tesla is you can whip up Netflix right there on the big screen, and watch your favorite show while it supercharges. Or go run in and get your grocery shopping done. You know, it's, it's not that big of a deal. So in the long term, it would, it would make sense even for us to all get Teslas. But that immediate purchase isn't as easy for everyone as it is for some people. So I don't know how they plan to do this. I don't know if they plan on, you know, calling up Musk and getting a special sponsorship for Uber drivers, but I guarantee you, I absolutely guarantee you, they're gonna come up with some EV program in the next five years where you can 
and it'll be very similar to you know Lyft Express or you know the other rental programs they have. But essentially, you'll start leasing a Tesla or something. They might already have it. And then you'll give X amount of your weekly earnings towards your Tesla payment until it's paid off. Something like that is going to happen, but I don't see how they could pull it off in any other way. So my advice would be, if you do drive a significant amount for Uber and Lyft and you have the ability to go get a Tesla, I would get rid of whatever car you're doing and do it. Because people think it's just the gas. It's not just the gas. It's basically no maintenance. It's significantly less wear and tear in the vehicle because of how it's designed. I mean, it's just a phenomenal car. But anyways, so we will see what Uber does and if we are actually completely electric by 2030. My bet is not a chance. <laughs> uh, but yes, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Check out Solo linked in the description below and I will talk to you guys soon.